Hi guys, it's Adam at Fluffy Feather Farm, and today we're going to talk about hay. So what is hay, and what do our... And what do our cattle eat? We decided to own a farm. I probably did more research on owning a farm than I have done research on anything in my entire life. So what I was concerned about was one, I didn't want to buy animals and not be prepared to take care of them. The second thing was I was entering an industry that I really knew nothing about. While you think, oh, the, you know, I, I could own a cow, you know, it's, it's a cow. Look, there's princess. She's She's fine and you know, I'm taking care of her, she's great. I was terrified, terrified. I wanted to make sure I had all my ducks in a row. So one of the challenges I had was really understanding animal nutrition, which is a constant learning curve. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight into our cows, what they eat, and hopefully make it less daunting than I initially thought it was. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about nutrition. So what I have learned in owning this farm is that there is no right answer, which is incredibly frustrating for somebody that is very black and white. So when we started to do research on owning our farm, I started to look up everything I possibly could on the internet. And when you type in, what do you feed a cow? you will get about 1,700 different answers from 48,000 people. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about taking care of a cow, what they eat, and how it's not really as complicated as you might seem. So at the end of the day, our cows eat three different things. They eat hay, they eat grain, and they eat some sort of supplement. It's just that easy. Now hay comes in a couple different forms. It either comes as pasture grass, where your cows are out grazing, like you can see Martha May doing right here. She's eating grass right off of the ground. Hi, sweetie. Or that grass is cut, dried, and baled, and we feed it out of the barn. So it's either eaten directly off the ground, or it's basically packaged so that we can feed it whenever we want to. The second thing is grain. Grain is basically a supplement to help build protein and fat in your cow. So when you're at a restaurant, and close your ears guys. So when you're at a restaurant and you're getting grass fed grain finished, that means the cows ate grass their whole life. Then they went to a different farm and they were fed grain and they were fattened up to give that fatty marbling to the steak. If you can think about it, grass is like their veggies and grain is like meat and potatoes. So the grain is gonna kind of supplement anything that they don't get from the grass and keep that body weight up, keep you know the amount of protein that they get up. And the third thing that we feed is a supplement. So some people feed a dry supplement that's like a mineral supplement. Some people feed a protein tub, which is what we feed. So we have tubs and initially it was a liquid that was poured into a tub and it is a supplement that the cows go to when they need additional supplements was a bad way to put it. But you know when you like have a craving for uh, salty potato chips? Okay, we're all, our cows get the same cravings. So they go and lick that protein tub when they get those cravings for those minerals or proteins that they're missing in their diet. So just to review, we have grass, which is also known as hay. Okay, so grass hay for our cows. The second thing is grain. Grain is helps supplement the grass. And the third thing is our protein tubs or any sort of cattle supplement, okay? So those three things are the only things that we feed all of our cattle here on our farm. All right, so let's talk about hay first. This is hay. Hay is grass. This grass has been cut in a field. It dries out in the field. Then the farmers clump it all together. They put it into a machine that wraps it up and bales it into these bales. When you're driving through farmland and you're seeing the tall fields of grass, this is cut three times a year usually. So this right here behind me is our first cutting of the year. There is a second cutting and there's a third cutting. And there are nutritional values to all of those different cuttings, which I know gets confusing. But at the end of the day, 
it doesn't really make a big difference to us as long as it is a quality hay. So this is a first cutting. Regardless, our cows aren't super, super picky. They eat pretty much any of the grass hay that we give them. So you can see the difference in, in texture here. Like this is a different cutting. It's a little darker and it's from last year. This is from this year's first cutting. There's multiple different kinds. Our cows aren't super picky, like I said. So any of this works for them and their diet. Okay, so grain, let's talk about grain now. That's the second thing we feed our cattle. So grain can be a number of different things, like I said, but this is our grain. So this is what our grain looks like. So it's not pure corn. It is a mixture of a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna read you the label so that you understand what all goes into this. We got crude protein, crude fat, crude fiber, calcium, phosphorus, salt, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. And all of these things are outlined in the percentage that they are. So our grain has a protein content of 12 and a half percent. So we figure based on the amount of grain per cow per cow weight is how we kind of feed our animals. Now we do put it all out at once and they kind of free feed so we don't separate every animal to make sure they're getting the exact amount based on their body weight. But we put out enough grain for the number of cattle we have in that section. So like all the adults will get, you know, two buckets of grain, the calves will get one and a half buckets, that kind of thing. And the scary thing about grain is you can overfeed grain. So I would think of grain like candy or like, like I said, like mashed potatoes, you know, like grain is good. It helps keep the cow's weight up and fat on, especially since we have a cow calf operation, which means that we are breeding cows to have calves. So we're not a beef farm. We're not a dairy farm. We're not finishing cows to be slaughtered. We are growing baby cows. So this product for us works the best. How did we come about this and how do we decide on this mix? We relied very heavily on a nutritionist that came to our farm to kind of help us through what we needed. And this is what we came up with. So my advice to you, if you don't really understand it or know what you're doing in terms of feeding or grain or hay, heavily rely on your resources that you have available. I think that's the biggest mistake mistake I made at the beginning of doing this is I kind of thought I could go on the internet and figure it all out for myself. And there are so many people around willing to help you. You have your extension agent, you have the farmer that lives next door, you have the feed company that's down the street. All of these places want you to be successful in what you're doing and they're more than willing to help you through that process. The last thing we talked about was a mineral supplement. So we use protein tubs. So this is the current product we're using. It's a Purina product. And you can see it comes with this plastic over the top of it, but underneath it's a solid you know, product. It has molasses in it to keep everything put together. They pour it in here and then they cover it up. But this product is mainly, pro so crude protein, 30%. Okay, and then it also has other minerals and supplements in it. So we're looking at calcium, we're looking at phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, cobalt, copper, iodine. So what this will do is if you've ever heard of like hardware disease, it's where your cattle start eating things that are metal, like they'll pick up, you know, stuff off the ground, like old pieces of fence or old wire, that kind of thing. It's because they're missing that product from their diet. So they're missing like something that tastes like zinc or copper or blah, like so they want to eat that it's like again we talked about like cravings of, of wanting stuff that product fulfills all of those cravings okay so let's review the three different things that we're feeding our cattle one is hay grass hay that's cut dried and baled for us the second thing is grain the grain that we get from our local feed company which is what we decided with a nutritionist is the proper grain to feed our cattle for our program. And then the third thing is some sort of supplement. So we use a protein tub. There's also other options of what to do with that. But again, highly rely on a nutritionist or somebody that can help you through that process on deciding what to feed your cattle. So let's talk about amounts and self-regulation. So cows can pretty much self-regulate the amount of hay that they need. They will eat hay and they'll stop at a certain point and they'll sit down and they'll chew their cud and they'll process the hay and then they'll go back and eat more hay. That product that they eat is self-regulating. In other words, you can't really overfeed hay. Like you can put a big giant round bale of hay out in a field and the cows will come and eat it and they'll come and go as they please. Grain is much different. Grain is like candy to cattle. So you can way overfeed grain and that causes a huge problem. 
So acidosis is where the grain builds up basically inside of them and starts to ferment. They can't process it. They can't digest it fast enough and it could cause a huge problem all, well, leading to death. So it's, it's a very scary thing. If cows get out and they get into a grain bin or they get into bags of grain, that's why we keep our grain in a separate building away from our cattle so that we don't have an issue with our cattle getting into our grain. That has to be portioned out. So we feed grain once a day right now, it's summertime, they're eating pasture grass, they're eating hay, and they're getting that supplement of the grain. The other self-regulated item is the protein tubs. So those, they come and go to as they please. So we keep them out in the field. They come, they lick them when they need to lick them, and then they leave them alone. So the only thing you have to be really, really careful of is their grain intake. You can feed too much, you can feed too little. Some people don't feed grain at all. They do a, a supplement other than grain. And there's a lot of different opinions. It's really just based on your climate, where you're located, what your goals are with your cattle and what you're trying to achieve uh, makes a big difference on the nutrition of your cattle. So this is the program that works for us. It is not the program that's gonna work for everybody else. So I'm just kind of showing you like what I've learned and what we're doing. Don't use that as, hey, this is the benchmark of what everybody should do because it differs from state to state, climate to climate, availability of hay, availability of grain, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys learned something. I was way overwhelmed by this topic when we started because because the last thing I wanted to do was nutrition wise to screw up what we were doing with our cattle. So I hope I kind of, you know, summarized a little bit of what we're doing and gave you a better understanding of what to look for and what questions to ask. But again, use your local resources. Those are your biggest source of information and they're gonna help you more than anything. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button below. We'd really appreciate it. Like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And we'll hopefully see you soon.